Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to replace the battery for a Samsung Notebook 9 Pro, the 15 inch version. And uh, specifically, today I'm going to be dealing with model NP940X5M. So pretty simple, you just have to remove all the screws that you see on the back here. Uh, all you'll need is a small Phillips head and uh, possibly some sort of small prying tool, but not necessarily. So let's go ahead and take care of that. They are very small screws, so make sure you don't lose them. And in case you're wondering, you do not have to be an expert in electronics to be able to do this. Um, I have no formal training whatsoever, and it is extremely simple. Didn't get that one quite out all the way. Okay, last one. All right, so now that you've got all those out, you can uh, begin the process of prying off that back case. Um, like I said, if you have some sort of prying tool just makes it a little bit easier, but it's it's not necessary. Uh, just kind of make your way in there from the side. The first time I did this, I actually just used my fingers, so it's really not necessary. It just makes it a little bit easier. And they're 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 just pop locks, so you're not going to hurt anything really. Last one, okay, there we go. Um, as you can see, I had a damaged battery here. It was bulging. So I have actually already disconnected it uh, just for safety purposes because I wanted to still be able to use the laptop without it exploding. <laughs> so uh, you have one, two, three, four screws. Uh, actually, it looks like there may have been a fifth one here. But, uh, just remove those. So, take those out. Apologize, my, my kids are over there playing some Mario on the Switch. And last one here. Yeah, I don't remember taking out a, a screw over there, but it does look like there is a fifth, a fifth spot for a screw there. But I don't think I took one out from there. So um, this is just a really simple little clip here. It literally just presses right down in. So all you have to do is get up under it. Uh, I would use some sort of plastic tool because it is a battery and you don't want to touch those contacts. But simple as that, comes right out. Um, if you ever start to see your keyboard lift up or your mouse pad or anything like that, you probably have a bulging battery, which is extremely dangerous. Um, the gases in there will continue to build up if you continue to use it and charge it. 
and eventually they can explode. So you want to get that replaced right away. Um, I got this specific battery from uh, batterymall.com, I think it was. And uh, it cost me about 85 bucks. But it's a lot cheaper than buying a new $1,200 laptop, so. <laughs> so, that fits in there. Looks like the fit is good. I'm going to go ahead and put my screws in before I reinstall that cable. All right, so that was pretty simple. And uh, like I said before, this is just a really simple clip here. So literally all you have to do is just line up the little tiny nubs on the side of the connector there. Get it in place. And believe it should just snap down into place. I've actually never done this before, so. Bear with me. Let's see, so those connectors, okay, so you wanna put it in kinda of the front part first. Make sure those pins are lining up and then just kinda of slide it into place with some downward pressure. Okay, there we go. Just give it a little, little push here just to make sure it's secure. Everything looks good. All right, everything's tightened down. And uh, make sure you remove the stylus before you take that out. Because I am going to have to get a new one because mine broke when I pulled the case off. So, yeah, I might have to put that in, in the description so nobody else does that. <laughs> but after that, uh, it's always a good idea, since you have it off anyway, just kind of blow some air in here, clear out your fans, um, you know, take care of any overheating issues you might have. So everything just pretty much pops back into place. <clears throat> and then it's just a matter of reinserting your screws. didn't use that stylus very much so it's not that big a deal I'm pretty pretty sure they're cheap online anyway might even try and repair it with just some sort of epoxy hey maybe that'll be my next video <laughs> Um, if you feel the need, you could put some sort of Loctite on these or something. Um, I believe they come that way from the factory, but honestly, those little screws aren't going anywhere. Just don't, don't over-torque them, but get them in there nice and tight. 